What's going on guys? Evolution here and today I'm playing a bit of Seven Days to Die. So I've literally just spawned in and we're already getting swarmed by zombies. I'm just gonna quickly loot this area and get the hell out of here. Let's take them. Right, okay, so it looks like we've got a building over there and everything's going a bit crazy at the moment. But anyway, welcome guys. And uh, as I said, I'm playing seven ta uh, seven days to die. It's currently in alpha stage one. Uh, and I know that Alpha Stage 2 is being currently developed. And there's loads of cool features. Uh, they're adding better multiplayer support. And uh, other bits and bobs such as new weapons. Uh, new zombies that can climb. Uh, and that's all I can think of off the top of my head. But anyway, there's, uh, there's new stuff like new buildings and bits and bobs. But that's, that's nothing to worry about at the moment. So let me explain what 7 Days to Die is a bit. So Seven Days to Die is basically like a sandbox survival game and basically at night you get hoarded by zombies and the idea is to survive pretty much, it's kind of in the name I guess, Seven Days. Uh, and the probably best reference is it's kind of like a Minecraft type game, uh, Minecraft slash Fallout maybe, a bit of Fallout, it's got a few assets like Fallout. Uh, and obviously a bit like Daisy because everyone loves Daisy. Uh, but nowadays a lot of games are kind of survival zombie apocalyptic, uh, apocalyptic type games. Uh, so I guess I just relate to Daisy all the time because it's probably the first of its kind. Uh, and then the, then War Z came out and other games like Rust. Uh, and obviously they're all different of their kind but they're all kind of the same zombie apocalypse type survival things but this one's a bit different because it's more it's more uh, based around kind of surviving the hordes at night it's got a bit more of an objective and it's got kind of base building features uh, which a few of the games I mentioned don't have um, obviously everything's kind of blocks uh, similar to Minecraft as you can see and you can build underground bases but the game does have gravity so I'm not sure how difficult it would be to uh, build a floating base uh, and basically the idea is is to stack up on supplies and at night time return back to your base and at night time you basically get swarmed by hordes of zombies and as you survive the days and the days go on the hordes then get more powerful and the zombies get stronger and basically the game kind of increases difficulty as you get further on in the game right now I'm just trying to find some supplies in this kind of industrial compound and I've literally been playing this game for about a duration of about two hours now in total and I'm not gonna lie so far it's not been good so I'm quite new to it I've got so much to learn uh, but there's cool features like crafting that I'm still trying to get around. I'll show you them later on in the video. Let's just we're just gonna focus on getting some supplies and food and drink to survive. Alright, we've got plenty of food and drink now. Oh hello. MP5, awesome. So yeah, going back on to kind of the point of the game. So the point of the game Oh Jesus, sorry about that guys. That may have shocked me a bit. Uh, the point of the game is to obviously survive the hordes, and it's it's worst. It's uh, the hardest point of survival is definitely during the night. Uh, the zombies can then sprint then, because they can sprint in dark places. So obviously they can sprint in buildings, but only if they're dark buildings. And uh, the the best way to survive is obviously by making the best fortified base you can, and obviously by using weapons as your defence. Uh, the crafting system includes like you can craft tools and bits and bobs like that. As I said I'll expand on that later and teach Yucca juice. Hang on one minute. I just want to test something here. Ah, that's cool. Right, so that was a basic kind of demonstration. And I was just interested to make that Yucca juice because I've never seen that before. As I said I haven't actually played it for that long. Let's just have a quick look on the map, see where the hell we are. Wow, Durrosville, Dyersville, whatever that's called, it seems awesome. So I think that's to our north, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to start heading north and try and make our way over there. I'm not sure if this game's kind of got 
Uh, full damage. Okay, yes, he's got full damage. Oh, wow. What are the chances for another MP5 there? Uh, we're taking all scrap metal for the pure fact that uh, you can turn scrap into iron ingots. And iron ingots is used to make tools such as um, pickaxes, fire axes, loads, loads of things that you pretty much need, to be honest. As I said, I'm still kind of new to it. Can we collect these? That is awesome. Let's take all these. As you can see, they would be epic for kind of make building a sustainable fortified base. And I've never found them before, so I'm kind of excited to use them. I think we're pretty much done here. I'm gonna grab these explosive barrels because I've got an idea. And yes, the idea ends with a big boom. All right, have we got anything else around here? anyway guys if you're interested in purchasing uh, this game it's $35 which works out at £23 I think it was when I bought it um, and that that price uh, obviously the game's gonna go up as the game develops but that that price includes all the updates so it's one cost fee and then you're done kind of thing uh, which is expected I guess and as far as I'm aware they are gonna keep developing it and it's just gonna get better and better it's very basic at the moment, but at the end of the day, it is an alpha. Uh, and you've got to start somewhere, but it's got a cool concept, and I reckon it's got loads of potential. And the multiplayer support at the moment isn't too good, but that's really one thing that's in the next update. Uh, at the moment, you can play with your friends if you use uh, programs like Hamachi, but it does make it a little bit difficult. But I'm imagining they're actually going to make like, big online servers eventually, because then PvP will, will come into play and stuff like that. Alright, I think we've almost got everything. Okay, awesome. Well, two magazines. Alright, so the main thing really is to get food and drink, but eventually you can actually uh, have your own water supply and you can farm your own food. However, I've literally only survived, the longest I've ever survived is the first few days, because I said I've played it for such little time. I've never really got the chance. So. Basically, anything in my tool bar, like hot bar here, I will lose when I die. The rest I keep. So it's kind of important to balance out the stuff that you kind of put in each place. But right now, I'm just going to kind of chuck everything in there because I need it all. Alright, that should do nicely. Right, so let's head over north. Well, let's head in the direction of north. Head over to this big city here before night time. I'm not sure what the gold stars indicate, but we'll, uh, we'll go find out soon. And pretty much, if I haven't fortified a base or claim somewhere, to, well, not fortified, but as long as I can find some type of shelter before night time, hopefully with the gunpowder, I might be able to survive. Uh, long story shoot, uh, bleh, long story short, the first time me and uh, me and Luke ever played, uh, we literally found a. We had to run into a house because it was getting pitch black, and the zombies were just immensely powerful and we literally had no clue what it was doing we died so we kind of learned that it's very important to grab hold of a base uh, as soon as possible I guess uh, you can actually build your own base like a lot of people they literally build it with blocks uh, but it's kind of hard to obtain all them blocks when you first ever start so I guess the best thing to do is just kind of steal, steal a pre-made house on the map because obviously in cities like that industrial place there for all like I could have just literally uh, put blocks and guarded the doors and stuff and put traps around which actually now I think about it wasn't a bad idea however I, I want to go venture off a bit we're gonna collect some we're gonna collect some sticks and wood because uh, there's gravity in this game obviously when you hit the bottom of a tree it does collapse and cool things like that and also the structure of build like uh, there's structure integrity so when you're building a house if you don't build it sh like strong without like pillars and stuff then the building isn't gonna be able to like if you build a really tall tower it's most likely gonna fall down after a few zombies batter it because you've not built it very you haven't built the structure very well whereas if you do build the structure well it'll be uh, obviously it it'll, you'll prevent it from obviously getting taken out by zombie hordes if that makes sense probably not the best explanation ever but it's a bit hard to commentate whilst taking out zombie hordes here Sorry, peoples. 
Right, so it looks like I found a, is that a sleeping bag I found. I don't know. I'm taking it. It looks cool. We've got some magazines. I don't even know what I'm taking. Search tree stump. Oh, we've got another pistol. There's a campfire. It's even a corpse. Is this stuff. Now, here's a question for you. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot. Well, that answered my question. I was going to see if this tent was, like, destroyable. Because if it wasn't, then I suppose we could live in it, but. Silly question to ask, really. Ah, look at what we have beside this kind of stump of sticky stuff, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it gives us sticks, that's all that matters. And obviously, to get wood, you chop down trees. Uh, you can do it with your fist, but if you make tools, uh, then obviously it's a lot faster. Come on. Ugh. Alright, I've run out of our energy, and it seems to make you kind of perform the action very slow. Right, have we got any? Jeez, we got 11 magazines there for the pistol. We got four uh, submachine gun ammunitions. Let's reload. So I think this is kind of going to be a let's play series. I'm not, I'm not going to bother editing too much out because I think if I do that, you're going to miss the whole experience of the survival. Uh, but I'd like to call this like this is like a voxel-based kind of sandbox, open, free roam world. Uh, kind of like survival, crafty horror type zombie game that's my best kind of description I can give I mean it's it's a good game and there's so much potential for it and I know so little as of yet so I'm really looking forward to learning more about it and uh, getting friends involved and bits and bobs like that, that would be cool right now key focus is, oh I can pick that up oh interesting Key focus is just to get some wood and stuff, and mainly, I guess, have somewhere to live for the night. Because if I haven't got that sorted, well, I'm never going to begin anything else. I want to try and find a house, really. house would be nice. And then at least I can kind of survive there for a few nights, build up my storage... Uh, collect extra blocks and then hopefully eventually I'll be able to move out and actually build my own base I don't know if how hard it'll be maybe I'll have to like kind of do it in trips so whilst it's daylight leave my base with the supplies I need and kind of start building it and then run back at night uh, but I guess we'll find out right so there's another camp base thing here so let's take zombies out it seems like it's one shot to the head maybe more this guy seems to be a bit more stronger I guess it depends what weapon you're using as well. I've kind of got a full inventory, which isn't very good because I need my inventory spaces. Okay, nothing in there. What else we got? Oh, we've got more. Okay, it's the same layout as the place we found earlier. Yeah, there's more sleeping map things. Okay, we don't really need any more pistols, we've already got two. There's something I haven't mentioned, obviously, your weapons have durability, and as you can see in the bottom left it says pistol 151 out of 175, so that's how many shots I've got left, slash, what was that, was that a bird? Uh, yeah, that's how many like uses you've got left of the weapon in this case, or if it was a tool it would be, uh, if it's a weapon it's how many shots, if it's obviously a tool it's technically uses as such, because you don't shoot a tool. I actually just aim my painkillers, which was a bit annoying. And one thing I didn't mention was obviously the HUD in the bottom left. Uh, you got your energy slash sprint, you got your health, HP, then you got like your thirst, and then you got your hunger. And where are we? Okay, we're not far off, guys. We've almost made it. And there's a cool looking house over there. So we'll quickly go check that out. Okay, there's a lot of zombies surrounding it. Should we do it? Yeah, let's. Why not? It's got Bill weighing. All right, ninja time. Okay, quite ninja. Oh, there's MP5 there, but bloody zombies on me. All right, time to pull out the submachine gun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not nice, man, not nice. Well, that gave me a bit of a fright, not gonna lie. Oh, man. 
man. Okay, I need to get looting and fast. Right, let's run upstairs. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What is that? A safe shotgun. I love you. Take that, take that. Quick, what else have we got? Uh, let's take the bottled water. Take all. Need that food. Uh, anything else? Cobwebs, okay, not useful. Right, let's get the hell out of here. That was quite intense. Oh no. It's getting dark. Ouch, that hurt. Let's run. Right, come on. We're not far off. Oh god, I need some blocks. Right, come on, I can make this. Oh, it's getting too dark. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Can I shoot trees down? Yes. Okay, there we go. Timber. Quick. Why oh, it's not letting me take it? There we go. Take, 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 take. Uh, can I craft this? Jesus, so many things. I just want wood. Okay, that'll do. Wooden planks. Right, how far are we? Oh, we got quite a run to go. Why doesn't it let me collect? Oh, okay, I'm guessing I'm out of inventory space. That's not good. And it's getting dark. I seriously need to get somewhere fast. They will be they will be sprinting at me now when they see me. I'm not sure if I covered it, but basically when it's dark, the zombies then sprint. Uh, so that's at night time and in obviously dark places of buildings because you do get buildings that are completely like empty and just full of darkness and creepy like that. Yes, okay. I see. I see houses. Alright, let's quickly eat. Oh, I just realised, but eating actually puts your thirst down. Which isn't good, obviously. Okay, I think I've got just a little bit of time left. Uh, choose a building, choose a building then. This one over here will do. Alright, close the door. Alright, let's look what we have in here. Put the painkillers on me. I need one of like a basement maybe. Do they have basements? Basement! Look at that, lovely. Okay. Um, think. Alright, don't panic then. What we're going to do is... Wooden planks, let's take them. I'm going to come back down here. And we're going to cave ourselves in to that little place. Oh god. I can hear noises. Noises I don't necessarily like. That is the zombies going mental. Okay, I haven't got long now. I think they're in the building. I'm not too sure right now. But I'm a bit I'm a, I'm a bit freaking out here. I'm panicking. Okay, it's upstairs. What's upstairs? Uh, okay, we've got some scrap metal. Can I take all of that? I don't need that crap. Let's just clear the inventory out of it. Let's just drop the books for now. Don't need the flashlight. We only need one of them. I don't know what you do with the gas cans, but we'll hold on to them for now. Right. Let's do it, let's do it guys, let's fight our way back down to the basement, shall we? Alright, I think I'm prepared for this, let's do this. Oh jeez, they're in. Right, where was the basement? Down here, down here, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nope. Oh no, they're down here. No, this is not good. Oh my days. No, this isn't good. This is not how I planned it to go. Okay, I'm going to have to find somewhere. Oh, no, this is not. Uh, okay, let's chill, chill, chill. Let's 
not how I planned it to go. But Come on, fortify, fortify. What's it doing reloading? I need to think faster then. What can I do? Alright, okay, this is working. Keep doing what I'm doing. We'll just cave ourselves in down here, it's fine. Oh, damn, that was scary. Yeah, scary, let's go for that. Right, oh, I think we are safe. We Okay, we're most definitely not safe. They seem to be trying to get me from everywhere. Oh, and the floor is caving in. I do not like this. Oh, you're kidding me, I'm out of ammo. Reload, reload, reload. Stay there, Mr. Zombie. Okay, gotcha. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna literally put ourselves in a box right now. Uh, with a few holes to look out of. Okay, we're out of stuff. It's fine, it's fine. We got this. Oh, where did you come from? not ending with me dying, I don't even care. Where are my gas barrels? No, I swapped out my bloody painkillers, whatever they are. Did that kill me? That may have killed me. Okay. Well, I went out with a bang, like I said. Oh man, hopefully we're going to spawn all up. What? This is not even fair, come on. How close are we? I don't even know where we are. Damn it. We're dead, twice. As you can see, I probably should have made it back. Well, I should have probably made it to that house a little bit faster because then I would have actually had time to actually build some defences. Uh, maybe I should have just stayed in the attic, who knows. But now you understand the threat of night time. Me and you both. I think I figured out what them stars are as well. I'm pretty sure they're spawn. They're like spawn uh, spawn places. The annoying thing is, I remember now that I had, a, I had a few camp bed things on me, which actually set my spawn. And I never bothered to place any of them. And if all I had to do was place that, and I would have respawned back there. If I die now, I lose this pistol, which I don't want to do. Ah, oh, I'm dead again. Damn it. Okay, I think the safest thing is is probably to make a new world. Because I'm never going to be able to survive the daytime. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll catch you in the next episode. And hopefully we'll actually be able to survive a night. Thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed this episode. Drop a comment. If you've got any tips about uh, 7 days to diet. Drop them in the comments also. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for checking me out guys. And I'll see you in the next one.